Welcome to Sean on the Go. I've got a buddy who just rebuilt the uh, motor on his Harley Davidson and needs to get out and put a few miles on. So today we're going to take a little ride over to Lake Darn Party. We're going to go over to the dam there. It's a little overlook. If you haven't been there before, it's a nice little spot to stop by. Just kind of soak in the views for about 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take the Goldwing today. I've got the Harley Davidson in the shop getting a new back tire and some brakes. Uh, maybe we'll take that out for a ride tomorrow and go look at some poppies and dandelions. If you like this type of video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel to continue to get updates on videos with my newest adventures. Well, we just left my house in Murphy's and we're heading down to Angel's Camp on Highway 4 heading east. As you can see, there's a lot of motorcycles on the road today. And my buddy's actually riding behind me, but we're following some other bikes from Angel's Camp on Highway 49, heading over to San Andreas. This is a beautiful stretch of road. In the springtime here in the foothills, we have the uh, California poppies and the lupin, and a lot of flowers in bloom this time of year, which you can see on the right. But we're still on Highway 49, heading into Valley Springs, and from here it's just about 10 more minutes onto uh, Party Reservoir. This is the road to Party Reservoir, and as you can see, we still have a lot of flowers in bloom, and it's a lovely, flat, scenic drive. As we approach Party Reservoir, we start catching glimpses of the lake to the right. There's two short bridges you have to cross. One is controlled with a stoplight as it's a one-way, one-lane bridge. You can't really see the water from here. That's why we hit the Vista Overlook. You can get beautiful views of the lake and the surrounding Central Valley to the other side. Well, as we pull into the parking lot at the Party Reservoir Overlook, you can see this lovely round parking lot. Usually there's a few other motorcycles, other cars. Usually people having a cocktail just sucking in the view for a few minutes. Here's a few shots from the Overlook. Well, we're heading back down from the Overlook. And you can see the lake off to the left. And we're heading back to the stoplight with the one lane control bridge. You don't actually get much of a view from the bridge, but it's still a pretty unique experience. Once you exit the one lane control bridge, you have a short drive until you hit the second bridge, which is actually two lanes. This one gives you a bit of a view. Once you get away from the lake, you get amongst the trees and the green hills. It's a lovely drive back to Valley Springs. Here's a little footage of my friend riding out in front of me. At least you get a chance to see his bike as he spent most of the day riding behind me. Just so you know, I'm not actually going this fast. I just sped up the video. Get a little scenery in on the way home. Well, we're heading back home. Green fields, cows in the background. Here's a few parting shots of the ride back to Murphy's.